Hello, I'm Justin Gonzalez and welcome to It Worked, where I'll be looking at educational apps, tech, and projects that work in the classroom. Today, we'll look at the formative assessment tool, GoFormative. GoFormative is a free formative assessment tool that can be used in your classroom. When you first log into GoFormative, you'll notice your folders here on the left. You can create a new folder by clicking on this blue icon. For me, I just teach one grade level, so I have a fifth grade folder. From here, we'll have two folders. Typically, I use these for either reading or math. For math, I typically use these right after our whole group lesson. These are usually quick exit slips to see if they understood the concept. So if we were to look at one of these, here's the example of how it looks uh, before I assigned it when I created it. So I wrote the questions out, and then I wrote some answers here, possible correct answers, so that students once they submit one of these answers, they get instant feedback if they're correct or not. From here, you could look at a preview selection of what this will look like to, on the student end, and then live responses from your students. Typically, the names will show up here, but in this video, I hid the names. This will show you what students responded with the correct answer and what students might need additional help. From the total screen, you'll see a snapshot of how the students are doing on the assessment. You'll notice that this student here and these two students might need additional reteaching of the topic. Here you get the option to rename it. For ours, we'll just say example one. This blue icon asks you to create a question. So when you click on that, you could add different things like images or text blocks for the students to see, and then also add questions as well. You could add a multiple choice question, multiple selection, short answer, essay question, show your work, or true false. Let's select a question. Here is where you'll type in your question. And then you could also change these options to other items as well. When you click on one of them, that shows that that is the correct answer for that question. This blue icon will appear on the bottom to add additional questions in your formative. When you click on the preview section, this is what it will look like on the student end. Right now there's going to be no responses since no students have access to this one. When you're ready to assign the formative to students, you click on this green assign button. From there you have the option to assign it to a class or guest students. There are other optional settings here to return the scores, return the correct answers, and then enable edits after final submission. Typically, I return scores after a student submits, I return the correct answers to students after a session ends, and I usually keep this option checked like this. If you don't want to create classes and accounts for your students, then you could create and assign it to guest students. When you do this, students can go onto the website, type in this code, and it'll ask for them to just type in their name, and those responses will come into you as well. A great feature of GoFormative is the option to share your formatives that you create. So if you click on the blue icon here, this will select the formative that you want to share out. When you click on the share button here, it gives you the clone code or the direct link that you could share with other teachers. The nice part about that is they only see the results of their students, not the results of your students as well. With GoFormative, student responses are live. You see student work in real time and are able to give them feedback accordingly. Students are able to work at their own pace and are able to show their work with the app. I hope this video helped you find some ways to use GoFormative in your classroom. Don't forget to subscribe below to see more videos from It Worked in the Future. Thanks for watching.